Hey guys, Gluttonous Gamer here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon White. Last time we learned the tale of the twin dragons. Today, we're taking on not one, but both of the final gym leaders. Let's head in. Over to the Opelousid City Gym. The Unima region's strongest and biggest trial. First off, please take this fresh water. It'll help you in the challenge ahead. Mmm, water. Let me give you a brief explanation of the trick to the Opelousa gym. The path around this gym is shaped like two dragons. This path changes when you step on the switches on the dragon's arm. Pay attention to how the dragon's necks move. So yeah, this is our, this is our whole thing. Alright, so I'm gonna put Axel in front, because Dragon. You know, you gotta put your dragons in front in a Dragon Gym. The Dragon Gym in Opelousa City is where tough trainers show they can carve out their own path. Because apparently there's nowhere else in Opelousa City to do that. So yeah, everyone's level 43. And Axel and Flare learned a new move. Axel now knows Dragon Pulse, a 90 power special dragon type move. Which could come in handy <laughs> against Webster. I guess now, uh, since we are talking about version differences, mainly in this episode, let's talk about the actual gym. Now, the inside of the gym is not different. The outside, however, is. In Pokemon White, you know, you got... It's black on one side and white on the other. In Pokemon Black, it's the inverse colors. So basically, the side that's white in this game is black on the other side in the other game. I'll throw up a picture of it, because I'm sure you guys saw the uplift stage when we went in. I will tell a trainer who beats me how to move forward in this gym. Well, we already got the whole, the whole thing from, what's that guy's name? I'm gonna name him Jeremy. Ooh, this is a new Pokemon, Dino. We cannot obtain Dino yet, but trust me, you're not going to need a Dino on your team. And here's why. Dino is the pseudo-legendary of this generation, right? He's this game's Dragon Knight. This game's Tyranitar. Salamence, Metagross, Garchomp. Right? So, he's really powerful if you level him up. But that's the thing. Dino does not evolve until level 50. It, this is a three-stage evolution, by the way. It evolves into Zwilus at level 50. Zwilus does not evolve until the absurd level of 64. 64! Making it the highest level requirement for any Pokemon to evolve in any Pokemon game. I, I'm pretty sure it still holds this record to this day. Do you understand how the dragon's heads move? Well, yeah, you step on a switch and the head moves. It's not necessarily dependent of which hand you step on, you just gotta step on it. Jose! He does not look like a Jose. He looks more like a Webster. We gotta fight an axle. Oh, wait, a fracture with an axle. Dragon Pulse. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Axle's not even a special attacker. Anyway, yeah. So Axle learned Dragon Pulse. And Flare learned Flamethrower, which I got rid of Flame Charge for, because seriously, I was getting tired of Flame Charge doing, like, no damage, and it's been pretty much our main fire move 
forever now, so about time we changed it. And now Axel's level 44. Axel's probably going to get to, like, level 50 by the end of this gen. That's a lie. At least level 46. Now we can get all the way to... Also, uh, does it not hurt these dragons to have, like... I mean, look, look at how the neck of the dragon bends. It's like, goes up and it goes down. Like, does that not hurt? Do, are dragons next double jointed and I just don't know about that? Are you happy just hanging out with Pokemon? Or do they have to be strong? We'll see which type you are. I like my Pokemon. Call my Pokemon weak? Yeah, uh, you, you start to realize that, uh, you... <laughs> It, especially in the Uniman gyms, that, uh, <laughs> some of the gyms I don't exactly have a lot of Pokemon from that type in a gym, and they just use, like, literally all the same Pokemon. Pretty much every turn we've fought so far has had a fracture. And that's a lot of fractures. Oop. Oh no. He's moved it forward. But we cannot go into the stairs because logic. I understand how that's a man song. Thanks for coming. I'll happily welcome you. But I may be a little rough on you. That's just kind of rude. That's very rude of you. Hugo. Finally, something that's not a fracture or a dino. Drudigan! Now, we, you've had access to Drudigan for a while. If you remember, uh, Dragon Spiral Tower is where you can find Drudigan, except during the winter. Be wary of its ability, Rough Skin. Basically, if you hit it with a physical move, it's going to do damage to you. That's why I have Dragon Pulse. I'm surprised it didn't go for a Dragon move. But, of course, it got a critical hit. His heart aches. I might have given Hugo a heart attack. I uh, got a heal, got a heal. Whoop. All right. Still got 10 hyper potions, but you know, we, we golden, we good. Also, it said two dragons, uh, there's clearly three. I can't do anything over there. Whoop. All right, we go this way. Stairs. Then another unnoble trainer. I will test you to see how well you really know Pokemon. Well, that's kind of the gimmick of this gym. Pretty much, you have to fight every trainer. Keep in mind, this is my second time doing this today, because I had to play through the Pokemon Black versions gym to get to the gym leader. So I'm basically playing through this gym twice. <laughs> Dragon Claw. Ah, another fracture. This reminds me of how in Pokemon Platinum, not in Pokemon Platinum, Gen 4 with Diamond and Pearl. How, uh, uh, one of the Elite Four members was the fire type, but there's only two fire types in all of Sinnoh at that point. So he just had to use, he just had two fire types and literally everything else was, ugh. 
Ah, draw it again. My favorite Pokemon. Also, what happened to its wing? Why does Drudigan always look incomplete? You know, I don't like that about Drudigan. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, Drudigan's that strong. Uh. Siren. <laughs> Here we are. Uh. Dig. Oddly enough, having wings, Drudigan is not the flying type. So. Yep, there's rough skin. Took 18 damage. But you know, I got Moxie, so. Ooh. Tom. Where's Jerry, huh? Where's Jerry, man? Revive. Revive Axel. I only have one revive left, so I may need to stock up on those. How many rare candies do I have? Now that I'm thinking about it, I have one. <laughs> I've got one rare candy, guys. Yep. Lower the dragon's hand. And then it moves its head right there. I mean, yeah, this is a pretty long gym. In case you haven't figured that out. Now we need to go all the way back. Just to go run past Tom again. To jump on the hand. To get there. Yeah, I don't know why they decided to just make you do a loop-de-loop. -loop. I mean, look at this. Look at this dragon's neck, man. It's broke. It's a 90 degree angle. It's broken. I wonder what you will do as a trainer. Beat this gym so I can get the final badge? Should I say badges? Because, I mean, they do give the same badge, but, you know. Uh, Dragon Pulse. Hmm, I'm surprised that Dino survived that. Slash. And Drud, Drud again. I wonder what happens if I Dragon Claw Drud again. Will it just die in one hit? Or is Drud again that tanky? It will die in one hit. Axel's definitely a physical attacker. 45? Let's see if we can get him to 46 by the end of this. Because there's still more trainers. Believe it or not, still have more fight to go. I don't feel right just walking on top of these dragons, you know? Don't send this video to PETA. I'm gonna go all the way over here. Talk to this woman. We have 10 years experience battling. I'll give you a taste of a veteran skill. A veteran skill. Yay. Kim. With her fracture. Guess what? I have one too. And guess what? Mine can do. It can one shot pretty much anything. Be it dragon type or not, it will one shot pretty much anything. Oh, oh, a second fracture? <laughs> Guess what? Dragon Claw.
Haha, <laughs> we beat Kim. And we're almost there. Just gotta jump. And here we have it. We finally made it. To Iris. Of course, I'm gonna save because I don't want to redo this for a third time. <laughs> so, here we are. Time battle Iris. Hi, I'm Iris, the amazingly strong gym leader. Tell me, what Pokemon are you using? How will you fight? Ooh, I'm super curious. Let's just get started. Iris. Challenge by Leader Iris. Your Iris sent out Fracture. Now, now that she sent out her Pokemon, there's an interesting thing about Raiden and Iris' Pokemon. They use the exact same teams. The only thing that's different is one of their Pokemon's abilities and their genders. It's the same fight, but I gotta do both of them to show them off, alright? So of course, we have Axelot here with Dragon Claw. <laughs> Next she's sending in Drudigan, but her fracture is level 41. Dragon type, devotee, rivalry. Attacks Dragon Dance, Dragon Rage, Dragon Tail, and Assurance. Anyway, her Drudigan. O41 dragon type sheer force for its ability with the ability with the with the attacks chip away revenge dragon tail and night slash uh, it doesn't matter because it's gonna die in, in one hit it's gonna die in two hits it's gonna die in two hits the pain of my Pokemon I feel it too and yes she does have two hyper potions Alright, alright. Dragon Claw. I'm really scared about her next Pokemon. Paxorus. And as Mold Breaker. No, not yet. No, we can fight on. Paxorus, level 43. Dragon type with the ability Mold Breaker. He attacks Dragon Dance slash Dragon Tail and Assurance. This is the final evolved form of Axew. This Pokemon is very dangerous. Also, uh, Fracture does not evolve until level 48. How does she have a level 43 Haxorus? Keep in mind, Drayton has this too. They really are Dragon Masters. Okay. She's healing. I'm gonna use Dragon Pulse. So that way my next Dragon Claw is pretty much guaranteed to kill. Told you we'd get to level 46. Feed Leader Iris. Ah, I did my best, but we lost. Whoa, that was so cool. I'm so happy I could battle a trainer as strong as you. Save the legend badge from Iris. Hey, that's your eighth badge, right? That's so cool. Now every Pokemon will do as you ask, no matter how big they are. You know what? I'll give you this TM too. Same TM82, Dragon Tail. Dragon Tail doesn't 
just do damage, it sends the other Pokemon back to its Pokeball too. Oh hey, I wonder what, how Mr. Alder is doing. I wonder if he's battling a trainer called N in the Pokemon League right now. Do you know about the Pokemon League? It's past Vicky Road, at the end of Route 10. <laughs> we did it, boys. Eight badges. Oh wait, we have to fight Drayden, so that's why I'm saving. So we can switch over to the Drayden fight. I'll see you guys in a minute, all right? It's time to fight Drayden. I'm not gonna bore you with the entire going through the gym again. Welcome, thank you for coming. I am Opelucid Pokemon Gym Leader. Gym's leader, Drayden. As the mayor, I've given everything to developing the city. As a trainer, I've simply been pursuing greater strength. What I'm searching for now is a young trainer who can show me a bright future. Perhaps you can show me that future, the way Iris has. Raiden. Challenged by leader Drayden. Don't ask me how his beard works. I'm still trying to work it out. Anyway, I might be a little overleveled for this gym. Just, just a little though, you know. Not, not too much. Just a, just a couple of levels. It's not like I have an entire team of level 48 Pokemon. I might have an entire team of level 48 Pokemon. Anyway, Fracture, level 41, Dragon, rivalry rivalry for its ability. The attacks, Dragon Dance, Dragon Rage, Dragon Tail, I'm sure. It's, it's the same as Iris's. Drudagon. The only difference between hers, well, Iris's, and Drayden's Drudagon are the fact that, well, all of Drayden's Pokemon are male. And that her dru that his Drudigan has the ability Rough Skin. They have the same attacks, the same level. Everything else is the same. And imagine if a, a Pokemon gym leader had a shiny Pokemon. You know, I would like a shiny Pokemon as well, but mm. Axorus. This is the moment of truth. This really gets my blood pumping. Dragon Breath. That's what makes Haxorus dangerous. Level 43, Mold Breaker, Dragon Type. Dragon Dance slash Dragon Tail Insurance. I didn't see that coming. You're a very difficult opponent. <laughs> Yeah, Dragon Dance is a very dangerous move when used by the opponent. But, you've beaten Drayden. Beat what? Beat Drayden? The intense feeling that floods me after a defeat. I don't know how to describe it. Wonderful. I'm grateful we had a chance to meet in battle. Our final gym badge, technically. Technically, we have nine now. We have two legend badges. Go with it. Received the legend badge from Drayden. Well now, you've obtained all of the gym badges in Unova. Now all Pokemon will obediently follow your commands. I also want you to have this. It's a TM I'm particularly fond of. It's called Dragon Tail. The opposite of Fairy Tail. Dragon Tail is a move that returns the damaged Pokemon to its Pokeball. In other words, it switches out your opponent's Pokemon. Now I have something to ask of you. Head for the Pokemon League and go after Alter. Pokemon League is past Route 10, which runs out from Opelucid City to Victory Road. I know Alter's strength, but I don't know the depths of its power. Well, we have our next objectives. We've beaten every single gym leader in Unova. Next time, we'll start our journey towards the Pokemon League. Of course, in Pokemon White, not Pokemon Black, because, well, the name of the series is Let's Play Pokemon White, but, you know, I have to include Pokemon Black in there somehow, because logistics and stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Seriously, this video is a pain for me to make. Could you please like and subscribe, though? 
just for the fun of it. Because seriously, I, I, I'm I gonna have to work very hard in this video because it's a lot of editing, okay? It's a lot. Please? Thanks. 